Oh, yeah, that's the money shot. Yes, you're the cutie. Welcome. <laughs> like so seriously as well. <laughs> Are you a news presenter? Hello and welcome to today's news. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my office. Today I'm going to show you a bit of my day in the life as a fashion designer. As you can see by the montage and the setting, it's not as glamorous as you know, like an office in Vogue, like a Devil Wears Prada. I actually work at home up to four days a week, so. This is where I spend a lot of my time. I actually have a little fan going at the moment because it's summer and it gets so hot. This is like my savior. Just like, oh. So hopefully that sounds not annoying, but it's an essential I can't film this video without it. Alan's making me turn off the fan. So I'm gonna get really sweaty. <laughs> I usually get to my desk reasonably early, like 7.30 or 8, and I'll do admin, various things, get through any emails I haven't got through at the couch. At 9am, my team usually meets up for what we call a stand-up. It's like an agile ritual thing where we talk about, you know, what's on for our day, if anything we're working on is blocked and we need some help with. The nice quick 15-minute meeting to set up the day. We use a few different programs to collaborate remotely across our team. The main one is Microsoft Teams. That's where we do all our like video calls and stuff and where we have our stand up. And another big one that we use is called Miro, which I've introduced Alan to. We've used it for our YouTube. So maybe I'll show you through our YouTube board and we can show you the little Miro. I feel like this is half of my life when my Wacom pen doesn't work. Hello. What do you use your Wacom for? Everything. I can't do anything without it. <laughs> Because I didn't want to have the ugly cable, but we're just gonna have to have the ugly cable. So I guess a little bit about my setup. I've got a MacBook Pro here and a little stand, and I've got this nice big Dell screen, which I primarily use. I try not to look at this one as much because turning my head gives me a crick in my neck and then gives me headaches. Yeah, yeah, I also wear glasses for my headaches. <laughs> Fun times being a like computer user all the time. I also have a Wacom here with a pen. And I pretty much don't use my magic mouse. You can see it's like hidden under my computer. Um, I exclusively almost use the Wacom and that's a lot better for your wrists and your fingers as a designer. Instead of using like a trackpad, you can get really bad RSI through your wrists and hands. Please ignore all my tabs. This is embarrassing. <laughs> um, obviously for confidentiality reasons, I can't really show you much of what I'm working on, but hopefully I can give you an idea of what I do. But this is Ellen and my YouTube planning mirror board, but I use this for work. We'll put together all of our brainstorming, our strategy. You can put, let's we'll zoom out, we've got different sections. Did brainstorming some little video topics, some strategy stuff. You can put pictures in, it's honestly such a cool collaboration board. Um, we had like an agenda and to-do list for our little photo shoot that we did. There's a vlog up already, we'll link to it. So yeah, I just love how flexible it is. You can add comments so I can be like, Ellen, check this out. You can tag your colleagues, which is really good if like I've updated a design. I can tag my buyer and then be like, hey, I've updated this. You can go look at it. Uh, I'll delete that comment because Ellen doesn't need that. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a cool tool. You can do so much with it and it's really good for collaborating but also you can present. There's like a presentation mode. Honestly, I could make a whole video about Miro. We don't have all day, but you can like present stuff. And be like, look, here's my inspiration today. Our friend Brad has a great YouTube channel about how. <laughs> all sorts of things. Cool. Um, cool. Should we do some actual work now? <laughs> Let's have a snack break. I wish I was sponsored by this brand because I love the yogurt. But I'm not, I promise. It's not sponsored. So let's open it and then we'll... It's got cute little niblets and you're like... We usually actually have these for my in an office snack for our office day. I'm talking way too much about the snack. Let's talk about my actual work. Do I have yogurt on my face? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Can I actually have you look at my face? No, you don't. So we're currently in the part of the season where we've done all of the shape research and trend research and colour research and now we've come to the part where I'm updating any drawings from costings and then applying colour and creating prints for them. I can't really show you what I'm working on so I'm just drawing this generic singlet and I thought I'd just film like a fake range board as such and to put some colours in and it kind of shows you what I do on a day to day basis. I'll just finish my yogurt and then I'll show you some stuff. <laughs> so I've got a wee little singlet here. Usually I'd have a lot more than just one type of singlet. I might have like six, but for just today's purposes, we're gonna, we're gonna, oops, I did it wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Gosh, is this even a job? <laughs> it's cause it's not, I haven't done my usual flow. It wasn't grouped properly. Okay, we're here, we've got it in a group. Okay, I'm just gonna make a couple more. And then we're gonna color them up. So today we're gonna pretend I have like four t-shirts to color. I love the align tool. Just love like evenly spacing things. I have four to color. Often I've already done some trend research, but we use a website called Edited, which has awesome data insights for lots of different brands in the industry that they scrape information from their websites. I'm just going to create a new dashboard. This is just some of the many million, there's 18 million live items on the Edited website at the moment. But I'm just going to look for, I'm going to see which singlet sold the best in the last three months. They call them camis? Tank tops? Sure, does it show me what I want? This is kind of it. These ones all sold out in the last three months. You can also do like a cute little graph and it'll tell me the top colors. Okay, so black. So we definitely need a black one. I mean, that's usually my go-to anyway. Let's turn this one black. And I need to be able to see the lines. So we're just gonna change them to gray. Okay, there's our black one. What other colors should we do? Some nice colors. We could have like a greeny one. They've sold really well. Ooh, like a minty color, sagey color. Greeny green. So many, so many. I'm gonna go on to Pantone Connect and pick a beautiful cotton standard color. Let's pick a color. We're gonna do a greeny color because they sell well. Down. Kind of like this laurel wreath color. This one looks pretty. I'm gonna do this one. Cute. What color should we do? Should we leave one white? And then should we do a fun color? Look at all these pink, bright pink sellout colors. Oh yeah. <laughs> Usually I'd be a little bit less blase about this, but since this is my own singlet for my own fun project, I'm gonna do what I want. Calling it the tar singlet even. Yeah. Yeah. This one can be white, and then, okay, we're gonna make this one pink, but thing. let's go down, fuchsia purple, beetroot purple, raspberry rose, oh yeah, cute, we're gonna do raspberry rose, guys. So yeah, just that times like 20, I'll figure out what colours we want to do, and then I'll reveal it with my buyer, and... There's sometimes a bit of back and forth. We'll look at sales, our personal sales, not just edited sales, and then we'll build a range. So this is obviously just an example to show you today, to give you an idea of what I'm working on at the moment. But if you want to see some stuff I actually worked on, I would have worked on it like over a year ago now, but it's finally out in stores and I made a video about it, a little haul. So I will link that down below if you'd like to see the end result of some of the work that I do. If you'd like to see some more in-depth or like tip related kind of things about Illustrator or various design programs, let me know. I'm kind of keen to do some. I feel like that would be fun to do this year. Working from home is definitely a big perk. It's definitely nice not to have to sit in traffic all day and then I get to pet my little kitty. My little kitty workmates. 
I usually finish up my day around 5 or 5.30 and I'll do something to relax like watch YouTube or work out. I'm actually trying to do some running events this year so I do run after work or in the evening quite a bit now. But yeah, I hope you found this video interesting. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for Juju. <laughs> my work is quite different at different times of the year so what I'm working on changes quite a bit if you'd like to see another one during a different phase of my work. Ellen and I are posting two videos a week at the moment so there's sure to be another video fashion related soon otherwise there'll be some career or business content so subscribe so you don't miss anything and I will see you in the next video. Bye!